to get this Vintage Glam Sugar Skull Day of the Dead, whatever you want to call it. It's very pretty still. It's not um, your typical Sugar Skull. Got We got it kind of blinged out, kind of digging that rose. Um, yeah, and we are decked out with Swarovski crystals around the eyes. You don't have to do that. I'm just a crazy person, so I decided it was a good idea to spend $20 on crystals. So actually, I'm probably not the smartest person, but <laughs> that's besides the point. I wanted my rhinestones to shine, girl. Glisten, twinkle, twinkle in the light. Shine so beautiful like crystal gel. Something's wrong with me. Yep, I know. I know something's wrong with me. It's okay. It doesn't hurt that I know how to do hair because I think it really completes this look. Um, so if you guys want me to do a hair tutorial at some point, we could definitely do that too. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and yes, I'm wearing clothes. This is not just a bra. It's like a, I don't know what you'd call it, like a corset thing. So don't get scared. I'm not naked under here or anything. Um, anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you tell your mama, your daddy, your friends, your friends' friends, your mama's friends, your daddy's friends, your cousin, your uncle, your auntie, anybody, everybody, your dog. I don't care. They, he can watch too. You know, we don't discriminate over here. Um, Miss Carrie Makeup on YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Miss Carrie Makeup. And I hope you guys enjoy. Mwah! Okay, so to get started, I'm using a foundation. It's a cream foundation from Joe Blasco called Alabaster, which is a lot lighter than my skin tone. I just wanted my skin to appear lighter, not super white, so that's why I chose Alabaster. Um, so any foundation that's a lot lighter than your skin tone will work. Just make sure to blend it on your neck. Next, I'm going to be setting my foundation with the translucent powder. This is the MAC um, Set Powder in Translucent. Next, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Pure Hollywood, which is a really nice nude that has kind of a pink hue to it. I just really wanted to accentuate my lips with a nice nude color. And the liquid lipsticks are awesome because they will last all night long. So next I'm taking a light brown eye pencil. This is a NYX pencil. The color is light brown. And I'm just sketching out my design for my sugar skull. It's easier to just sketch it out with a lighter color than to just go for the gusto right away. So just ever so slightly just sketch out your design. It really helps to have a reference picture on hand unless you kind of already know the design you're going for. So just refer to that as you sketch out your design. So around the eye area, I'm just kind of following the natural shape of my eyebrows. And then for the underneath, just follow your natural eye structure. The bone will kind of guide you as to what that is, so you're not guessing where to sketch. So just keep working your way around your eye until you get the desired level of darkness. And move to the other eye and do the same process. And we are just about done with our blueprint. Next, I'm going to be using MAC Chroma Cake in black. And what the cake makeup is, is just a water activated face paint. You could definitely use a cream makeup for this step. I just prefer the cake makeup because it's going to be more long lasting and it's really easy to remove. 
So I'm starting by just sketching out my eyes with the cake makeup and just really focusing on the outer corners, the outer edges. I want the eye area to be a nice subtle gradient transition to the center of the eye. I don't want to completely black my eyes out. As you can see, I'm using a soft brown to blend the black around the eye. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light medium. Just the brown contour colors just to blend that black. So it's a nice transition. And just blend, blend, blend. You want just the center of your lid to be a little bit light still. So with the same Chroma Cake Black makeup, I'm just filling in my design. Yep. I'm having too much fun. So continue to fill in the nose area. Don't forget to get the nostrils. And with a super fine angle brush, I'm just going above the cupid's bow and really making sure to keep that cupid bow nice and clean. You're going to start to fill in the chin area. Just follow your original blueprint. I'm using a Sigma winged liner brush for this part. Just any brush that you can get good detail with is going to be the most helpful. Now we're going to start our sketching on the forehead. You definitely have to have a steady hand for this part. And I just drew this one freehand. I didn't sketch it. If it's more helpful to sketch it first for you, go ahead and do that. and then just fill it in. Next I'm using a red cream color from the Halloween store. It's just a cream makeup and I'm just following my outline with a very small liner brush. Then you're just gonna fill that in. I'm using a flat liner brush for that part. This is an Aveda flat liner brush. And as you see, I just started to sketch out more of the design on my face with a light brown eyebrow pencil. Any light brown or gray pencil would work good for this step. Next, I'm just sketching out the little teardrop shapes on my nose. And now, just taking my red cream color, I'm going to start to go back anywhere where I want red in my design. I'm using a very small eyeliner brush just so that I can get better detail. This is an Aveda eyeliner brush. And everything that I'm using I'll make sure to list below. I'm just taking my Sigma winged liner brush and going over my previous sketch just to darken that up. I'm still using the matte chroma cake. Starting the lip detail. You could use If you wanted to, you could use a liquid liner for this step or a gel liner, I decided to use my chroma cake. You're just making really fine lines on the lips and I kind of directed them at a diagonal. Then you're going to go back on the cheek and just run some stitch lines. Going back over your sketch on the forehead and I'm still using my Sigma winged liner brush just darkening up all the little details
and you just want to go back and make sure your lines are nice and dark. Just do any fine tuning that's needed. And you're going to continue with the fine details. This look is about a lot of little fine details. So it can be a little bit tedious, but it's well worth it in the end. Stay using your really fine liner brush, and if you want to make the dots bigger, you can go back and make them bigger. I'm going back with the red cream color on my cheek area and just filling that in. And it's okay if it runs into the black a little bit. It kind of gives it a more dimensional look. And just creating a little extra jazz, a few little dots, some swirls. Really be creative with this part because that's what this is all about. You can go back and add more red wherever you want to see more red using the flat liner brush once again. Now I'm going back with Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in American Doll. I just wanted to intensify the red a little bit more, make it a little bit brighter, and I wanted it to last a little bit longer. So I'm just layering that liquid lipstick over any areas on my face that I have red cream color. And you can just take it out of the tube and apply it with a brush. I'm going to be filling in my waterline now with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. Just make sure to layer it on nice and thick and get all of your waterline covered. Then I'm taking a MAC 217 and I'm using Motives Eyeshadow and Onyx to set my waterline. Next I'm taking Motives Lux Precision Eyeliner, which is a felt tip eyeliner and it is amazing. It stays so good and it's so pigmented. Next, taking Vegas Nay Eyelashes in Grand Glamour. And I love these eyelashes, I cut them in halfsies. Going back over with my Lux Precision Eyeliner. Going back over the lashes with liner to make sure the band is covered. And now on to the bling bling. I'm using a lash adhesive to glue my rhinestones on. And I really wanted it to be a gradient effect. So I used four different colors of rhinestones. Starting with the brightest red on the inner part of the brow and then a darker red. So like I said in my intro video, these are Sklarovsky crystals. You can get them at Michael's Craft Store. They are a little bit more spendy, but if you want them to be super shiny, that's what I would recommend. The nice part about these crystals is they're definitely reusable, so I would not throw them away once you're done. Just take them off carefully and you can clean the backs off. And now I'm just placing the rest of my rhinestones. These also came in a pack with different sizes, so I started with the larger crystals and ended with the smaller crystals around the inner eyes. And we're set. We are blinged out. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>
with a face full of makeup. But I look hot though. <laughs>